What's up guys, Triple C here. Uh, today the import-export DLC was released and we got a bunch of new cars. We actually got two new supercars and as you guys might know, I always test them on, the, on stunts, how they do on different kinds of stunts. I tested all the cars we got with Finance and Felony and Cunning Stunts. Uh, they basically all failed. There's no car that's been released that can touch the T20 Zentorno or the Osiris. And now the first one we're going to test is this one, the Temperesta, 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 whatever. And uh, I actually, I also got the other one. I didn't customize it yet. That's going to be the next video, the stunt test. So what I'm going to be doing here with Nothical together, we're going to play him on generic types of stunts, on the same stunts we tested all the other cars on. And remember, this is not about is the car good in general? Is it good for racing? Do we like how it feels? We're just... Um, trying to compare it under the same conditions on all different kinds of stunts. So yeah, let's jump right over to the first stunt. Okay guys, so first we're gonna test the Tempesta on a normal container wall, right? Just as we did with all the other cars. We're gonna be testing them on all the same races. And stuff we're gonna be looking for here is how does it react to the dummy proofing once you get on the wall? How does it feel on the wall? Does it have a sensitive steering or is it uh, rather a bit sluggish? Um, like every car is a bit different there. And one thing for sure, it will wall ride. Any car wall rides. You can wall ride a clown van, you know, so that's not the issue here. This is basically just trying to analyze how it feels on the wall, how it reacts. So let's go and try this out. Okay, dummy proof. Whoa, yeah, very steady, huh? Whoa. Yeah. Yes. Very oh. steady. Works very fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very easy to control car, definitely. Yes. Oh, well, that's cool. Okay, so I was tapping Nathika, you really steer huh? on the wall? Mm, not really, no. Okay, but really. I was tapping it like the Entity and it was... Yeah, yeah, very comparable to Entity and 811 in my opinion. Very steady car. It doesn't overreact like other cars like Centorno or T20 for example. Yeah, it's the same as the you do have to steer a lot even, because otherwise it won't even really react. So yeah, um, I think we'll skip over to the next test already. We can definitely say this, it's very, very steady on the wall. Maybe also really good car for beginners if you want to learn wall riding. This one's very easy to handle on the wall. It's very consistent, very steady, and it doesn't overreact. So yeah, let's jump over to the next stunt. Alright guys, next we got an as a steep ascending wall ride like we did on all the other cars. Like basically every car from Finance and Felony and Cunning Stunts failed this, it didn't do well. I'm driving this with a low camera and with a low camera T20, Osiris, Centorno do this beautifully without any issue at all. A lot of the Cunning Stunts so-called stunt ready vehicles, they lost their acceleration on the wall because it's so steep and ascending. And once they lost the acceleration, we lost the camera too. So that's going to be interesting to see. We already saw that wall ride's good, but um, how will it how will it like, perform when we go upwards and we need that acceleration? So let's jump over to the wall. Okay, guys. So we're coming up to the wall now. Like I said, trouble with all the other eight supercars we got: bad low speed acceleration, and they were almost all of them were only two wheel drive. losing our camera view okay I did get it but we did lose our camera view for a fraction of a second there which basically also has something to do with the speed of the car like I I have the suspicion that the T20 Osiris Centorno that they would get over the wall right quicker I think it lost a bit of its speed there from my feeling and that that's why we lost our camera but nonetheless very steady but Objectively speaking, probably not the best car for this. Probably Zentorno no. T20 Osiris would be a, a, a tiny bit better than this one here. But hmm, definitely okay and doable. Okay, I'm coming up to the wall for the second time now. By the way, before we started this t the stun test, um, me and Nafika, we compared this Tempesta to um, an Osiris on like a high speed track on the highway. The Osiris was a bit quicker than the Tempesta, so that's that may be what we're seeing here. Also, the acceleration of the Osiris was better, and that might be what we're seeing here on this wall. 
that once it gets steep and it needs that acceleration, that raw power, that's when we lose it. Yeah. I You're losing so your camera there. Huh? Yes. Yeah. That's the problem. I can't yeah. doing it. Okay, so yeah, and like the, for everybody who's gonna come and um, drive with a high camera, th like the point of this is testing it under the same conditions. So our prerequisite for this is always also with all the other cars, low camera, and our benchmark is T20s and Torno Osiris, which are the best stunt cars, and they all make this easily with a low camera. You do not lose your view. So in that regard, I gotta say um, it can't hold up with those three cars. They definitely have an advantage there. But still, nonetheless, it feels good on the wall. Okay, let's jump over to the next stunt. Okay, so next up, barge spiral to barge wall ride stuff. Um, big problem we had on all the other cars. They lost their camera view. And a quick update um, for the high camera thing. Uh, Northkill is riding with a high camera. And he also did lose his view in the ascending wall ride, even with the high camera in the previous one we just did. So, also here he's in the high camera mode, I'm in the low camera mode. Problem in the 811, X80, all those cars, they all lost their camera. Gosh. It does feel nice driving, I don't know. Yes, absolutely beautiful. Got a killer traction. I love this car on the street. Yeah, yeah, it feels nice, definitely. But we, like I said, we te just tested it against the Osiris on the highway. Unfortunately, can't keep up all the way. It d didn't make such a big difference, but the Osiris was constantly gaining a bit over this one. All right, let's see how this is gonna work out. Uh, we're losing the camera. Not as bad as in the other cars though, but we did lose it for uh, for that part where we were overhead, unfortunately. Basically it was to be expected because we also lost it on the ascending wall ride. Nathka, are you losing your camera with the high camera? Ah oh, yes. Uh, Extreme. <laughs> yeah, it just sucks. That's that part when you go totally blind. Okay, it's coming in for the second time. Yeah, Nafke has the high camera, he's losing his view, he doesn't see where he's going. Yeah. I can't line myself up because I'm losing the view, but yeah, anyways. Um, a test result, it cannot hold up with the T20s and Torno Osiris. They do this better, you do not lose your camera, and you are a bit quicker over it, so... I wouldn't say it failed, but um, just comparing it to the top three stunt cars, it just can't compete with them. Definitely can't. Okay, jetzt habe ich um, mein, den, den, den rechten Stick die Kamera geschwenkt, dann konnte ich das sehen. Das yeah, gehört. if you move the right stick, but you shouldn't have to. Yes. Yeah. Aber, aber jetzt hat er auf jeden Fall was gebracht, also das hat mir jetzt geholfen. Alright, alright guys, so that was our spiral test, barge spiral. Let's jump over to the next one. Okay guys, so next we're testing a King JMK loop. It's basically you go on a loop and drive down a building. Uh, it's a very generic stunt which any car should do. Interestingly, the only car that didn't do this was the X80 Proto because it wouldn't connect to the house wall afterwards. Alright, so I'm about to do it now. Just went up here, okay, let's go. I'll just have to stay straight. Oh yeah, it sticks to the wall. Perfect, man. Yes. Just suck to the wall like it's supposed to. Yeah, perfect. But yeah, li like expected, like every car did this one. Except for the X80 Proto, it wouldn't connect to the wall. So yeah, uh, passed. Next up, container spirals. Um, like this is also something that I said in the previous stunt tests. If you have the speed and you have your line, it won't matter which car you're in, but if you approach the spiral with a low speed and you don't have your line and have to adjust, then there's huge differences between the cars. In my opinion, Zentorno is still the best car up to now in the in container spirals because you can really yank it over as hard as you want if you have to make rough adjustments. But we'll see how this one does. 
Like what we already saw that it doesn't have the same acceleration as the Cyrus 220s in Toronto, which will make it harder at low speeds definitely. And that's what I'm going to be testing. I'm going to go in the Cyrus slow and see if it still gets the power to get up there and if I can make harsh adjustments without the car spinning out. Uh, slow down a bit on this jump, Rockstar broke it with cunning stance. Okay. Because checkpoints don't register anymore if you fly over them. Okay. Gosh. Okay, so actually the uh, respawn was perfect because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and slow. Like going from here, Zentorno, no problem. Okay, we have it this one too. It, no, it did re okay, but that adjustment there. Ooh, okay, I got it. Yeah, that adjustment was a bit jittery. It was a bit slidey when I had to adjust. Like, Zentrona wouldn't have slid out in there. But um, I expected it to do worse, actually, because um, uh, entering the Spirit slow, I thought it might not have enough acceleration, but it did, actually, so... Oops. So definitely a positive surprise. So yeah, it definitely passed this test, um, no problem at all going in the spiral slow, exactly what you're looking for in the stunt car, four wheel drive, that it does get that raw power to still get up there anyways, even if you enter it slow. Uh, in terms of uh, making harsh adjustments, like I just said, it was a bit slippery, other cars might not be as slippery, but definitely a good car you can use on stuff like this. Next up, we're going to test it on crab slides. With crab slides, you basically have three types of cars. You have those cars which go back on their wheel immediately, which is a very bad thing. They're absolutely useless for this type of stuff. Then you have cars like the Adder and Infernus, which just stay on their side really long and just don't tip over. And you have cars like Zentorno, T20, Osiris. They will roll over on the roof. So. Let's just see how this one does here. And by the way, this doesn't have anything to do with the shape of the car, like one would assume. It basically only has something to do with the center of gravity. This is something you cannot see, you really have to test it. You might be able to see it in the game, I don't know, but um, it's all it has something to do with. Oh, it stays on the side. It stays, it's like... Whoa, Can't look at that shit. It's like Adder and wow. Inferno. I actually once built like a really long crab slide for the Adder. I never published it. And I think I even built something different from that race later. But that went, just went downwards so long and the Adder it just stays on its side. It won't roll over to any side. And that's what I suspect we got with this car here too. I mean, it just felt like it's locked on its side and doesn't want to roll over. Okay, here we come again, second lap. Oh, no, it did slide a bit on its wheels, but I hit the thing weird. No, it just stays on its side, okay? Yeah. Yep. I don't know how I do that, like what I did with the adder there, I never published that one, but I definitely built one for this one, just like a really long crowd slide, it just goes on and on. Because also with the shape of the car, back when I first tried to build this, this was long before I even published my kidney grind, it was long before we had the creator update with templates and everything. I built something like that, but I tested it in the entity and I was like, okay, it doesn't work because the entity falls on its wheels immediately and I thought it's got such a straight side and so good with dummy proofing it should slide on side but it didn't do it at all so I was like yeah shit good idea but it didn't work and then later I came back to that idea and tested it in different cars and they actually do work but yeah anyways um, crab slide it definitely passed um, like whether it rolls on the roof or it stays on the side you can build a stunt accordingly to that but other cars like all the new uh, cunning stunts cars we got, Entity, stuff like that. They all roll on the wheels, which basically means they're useless for this type of stuff. But this one, you can definitely build some really nice, creative stuff with it. So yeah, 
definite pass here and also nice that we got one that stays on its side because Adder and Infernus are actually the only ones. Centrona also stays a bit longer on its side before it rolls over but this one seems very steady so yeah definite pass on this one let's get over to the next turn okay so what we're doing now and we might not get a really representative um, result on this one we're testing wall switches but what we did see already uh, this is big long wall ride number seven from cafe filter what we did see already it is good on dummy proofing so you it's definitely possible to build stuff like this for this car it might be because this is built for osiris and t20 that the flip might not work as it's intended and that if he would have set the flip container a bit differently that it wouldn't work perfect for this car but we're just gonna do it for the heck of it anyways just to see what happens Uh, it did overflip a little bit. It overflipped a little bit, but yeah. I mean, that's what I said. That's what I said. I mean, it is. This one is built for T20 Osiris, so you can definitely build these types of stunt races with de uh, these types of flips if you fine tune it to this car. And it might even be that a lot of Osiris T20 races that this is just a car you can also use. All right? Yeah. Nice. Right guys, so the ultimate test, like we did on all the other cars, uh, Freaky Leaks, huge loop racing number three. We're gonna test it from the respawn. Okay, well, let's it down. Uh, same conditions with all the cars. So far, the only cars in the whole game. Oh no, oh shit. No, respawn. Okay, wait, I'm gonna respawn. The only cars that can do this are T20, Osiris, and Torno. The X80 Proto also does get around, but it doesn't, um, it's very bad on the dummy proofing after it. So let's see if this is maybe the fifth car in the game that will get around this loop. Let's go on three. One, two, three. Okay. I don't know, Nafka, what do you think? I think it won't get around. What do you think? Uh, I think... Yeah, we made it. <laughs> okay, let's see. And, 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 yes, it's making it. It's making yes, it. it. Yes, it, it did. Works. Perfect. Da, 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 da. Nice. <laughs> so, actually, Ooh. the fifth car in the game that can do this, like all the other so called stunt ready vehicles, could not do this because they're all two wheel drive. But this one, no problem. Perfect, man. Nice. So, yeah, it did. Yeah. So yeah, it did uh, well on that one. So yeah, let's quickly recap. Um, first we had wall rides, it felt very nice on the wall. Uh, ascending wall rides, there's definitely better cars. Uh, we did get around, but we lost our camera, we lost our acceleration, didn't have that power. Um, on the barge spiral, we lost our camera, which was also not good. Generic stunt King JMK loop, it did it. Uh, as expected, the only car that didn't do that one was the X80. What do we have then? Container spirals, you can definitely take it, except if you're not experienced on them and you, you're going to jolt your car to the, sharply to the right or left, then take a Zentorno or something like that, but definitely very possible to do. Uh, what else do we do? Like wall flips definitely work, it would be interesting to see some new stunts being built for this car. Uh, what else do we do? Um, yeah, the huge loop, and I don't know, if, in case I forgot, you guys saw it in the test. So, uh, all in all, um, it did pass the stunt test, I would say. It did fail on some small things, um, but there are better cars for stunning. It, it could not compete with T20 Osiris Centorno, no way. T20 Osiris Centorno, um, up to now, still the best stunt cars. This is also a very nice car, definitely worth the money, very fun car also but just not in that range of T20's internal Osiris, unfortunately. Uh, anyways, guys, I did stunt tests on all the cunning stunts and finds and felony cars. You can check out those links um, if you're interested in that. But I can tell you this, they all failed. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out. I'll check in the next video. Peace!